any venture you venture into and it becomes so difficult for you, hard work looks like suffering to you, that means you are not made for that. You have an identity problem. Money will come from your passion unless it's not your passion. To monetize anything in this era is easy. Create content around your gift. Create content around what you know. Who you are is what you are good at without being paid. That is who you are. I want you to be loaded. I want you to understand how these things work. Don't just dream of success. You need to be the success. Not a dream. You are real. Let me tell you one of the major reasons why you are not making money online. I know today we are speaking about money and spirituality, but one of the major problem is niching. From my experience online, I am aware that most problem starts with niching. But guess what? There is a spirituality to niching. I always look for these things as soon as it comes up and I always bring it to you so that you can make more money online. I'm sure you are trying to make your first dollar. You are trying to make your first hundred dollars. You want to make your first one thousand dollars. You are concentrating on how to make money, which is just a problem on the surface. The real problem, why you are not making enough money, even after all the videos you've seen online, let me tell it to you today, and it's niching. And what is niching? identity may i ask you who are you who are you i'm asking for the third time who are you the simple answer is what you can't find that is why it's difficult for you to niche down and as soon as you cannot niche my friend you will not make money and I'm going to explain myself and give you the solution. I'm not just here to tell you the problem. I want, to I want you to identify the problem so that you can also provide the solution by yourself. As soon as you know who you are, as soon as you can guarantee your identity, I can tell you nothing will go wrong with you. No matter how difficult a, a thing is, it will be a breeze for you. Let me give you an example. If you're a guy, I'm going to give you an example of Cristiano Ronaldo and Lionel Messi. Can you imagine if Lionel Messi was a barber? Can you imagine how successful it would have been? And don't tell me it's luck. It's luck. No, 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 no. There's nothing lucky about someone who for years was running up and down for 15, 18 years. You call that luck? That's hard work. Any venture you venture into and it becomes so difficult for you, hard work looks like suffering to you, that means you are not made for that. You have an identity problem. When you don't know who you are, you are lost. Let me tell you something. If you are a Christian, Jesus Christ said, I am the son of God. Even No matter what you are, no, Guru Maharaji has his own specific thing that he believes in and he understands that. You will not make money online. Read my lips. If you don't know who you are, because it will be difficult for you to position yourself. Let me tell you a story. When I started teaching on this channel, officially in December thereabout, I noticed that there was a particular guy who made money and he keeps making money. He keeps posting the receipts from freelancing on our channel. Look, the same thing I taught everybody was the same thing I taught this guy, but I noticed he was making it better than others and asked me why. He was a music person, like a music director or something who has where they produce music. So I showed to them how you can make money from mixing music on freelancing. You know everything about music. I showed like four or five gigs. He went into it. He was very successful. He started making $250. Uh, I think, I don't know if it's per week or per month, but he keeps updating us on the WhatsApp group. By the way, if you have not joined our WhatsApp group, go to the uh, description below. You'll see the WhatsApp group there. So I'll leave the link there so you can join. Look, I must confess to you, if you are supposed to be a barber and you're a vulcanizer, you will never make it. And that is where the problem lies. So how do we fix this? Get in on your gift. Understand your gift. I've said this like a billion times. I am made to speak. When I was in the university, they would always call me an orator. I was the student union PRO of my set. It was easier for me to speak than to eat, than to sleep. I can go without sleeping for three days. I can't go without talking for three days. If you want to punish me when I was younger, just tell me, shut up. Listen, shut up. As soon as you tell me, shut up, I'm in trouble. I'm going to feel like the whole world wants to collapse. But look at me now. I'm a pastor. I preach and preach and preach way more than a normal pastor. Sometimes I do uh, three preaching in one Sunday. 
Can you imagine that? Just one Sunday, I go three, and then Monday I continue, Wednesday I continue, do vigil to prayer, simply because it's easy for me. I don't even feel it. On this channel, I produce 35, 36 videos, tutorials. I'm not doing comedy. This is not entertainment. It's real work where you have a plan and you're teaching people things, and I do 36 of that. The closest person to me in my ecosystem of money making in Nigeria do 18, and I do 36. And I'm not feeling it, coupled with my pastoral work. Can you imagine that? It is what my gifts are. It is what nature had bestowed on me. That is my niche. That's why I can be successful online. I can sit on a spot for a whole year. I don't feel anything. Just give me a laptop and internet, I'm cool. I have the facility for that. That is why I can make it. Now, if you don't have facility for the gig you're offering, you cannot make it. Don't follow the money. Follow your passion. I'm telling you, no matter what anybody had ever told you before, to tell you to go the other way because that's where money is. Some people will tell you, don't follow your passion if it doesn't have money. Money will come from your passion unless it's not your passion. To monetize anything in this era is easy. Create content around your gift. Create content around what you know. Don't try to be like African giant. Be yourself. When I came here, I told us yesterday when I made the video about the 10,000 views, uh, 10,000 subscribers that we got to. And I was like, I didn't copy anybody. I don't need to copy anyone. I am enough. I am the real deal. They are their real deal. That's why they are successful. I am my real deal. I will also be successful. Just go and do you. You have identity problem. It's not by knowing your name. If I ask you, what's your name? Chinedu. What's your name? I'm Isaiah. What's your name? I'm, I'm Michael. No, 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 no. It's not a name. That's just a name. Who you are is what you are good at without being paid. That is who you are. You need identity for you to be able to niche. Either you are doing freelancing, you are doing blogging, you are doing affiliate marketing. You don't just be everywhere. You need to be able to niche. I'm going to tell you now, nine on lent, untold, on on whatever you want to call it, something you are never taught and you will never be taught. School, church, whatever, mosque, nobody's going to teach you these things. But there are things that will let you make money online. It, these are things that will let you understand your identity by niching. That's all. I'm going to tell you few. Nine. Let's go. And I will rush this because I still have something else to tell you at the end of the day. I want you to be loaded. I want you to understand how these things work. Don't just dream of success. You need to be the success. Not a dream. You are real. You are in flesh. You are a human being. Produce what you need in frequency. For electricity to shine, there is something that would go into it. Produce what will bring success to you. Number one, believe you are next. No matter what anybody says, you are the next person to make the huge money online. Like we say in church, you are the next person to share the testimony. It's yours. Don't second guess yourself. Go in for it. And if you are going in for it that way, then you need to have a plan. You have to have a plan. You see how important niching is? Now, if you want to have a plan, is it affiliate marketing? Is it freelancing first? Okay, is it Kindle publishing next? What's the next thing? You don't even know. You say, I don't know anything. I don't know where to start from. So what have you been doing on this channel? Everything we've been thinking and teaching. So you mean you've not seen what your liver governized to? You've not seen any Dorime here that you can go to watch? Is that what you're telling me? No. You, there is one. The only thing now is... Have a plan. Plan towards it. Don't just hope. We know hope and faith wins, but you have to plan. And let me tell you, that's my number three. If you don't do it yourself, no one will help you. How old are you? How many people have helped you? What, what is their help worth? I remember sometimes ago when one of my brothers was asking me uh, if he wants to help me, why am I not asking for help? I said, brother, you can't help me. And I'm not really, <laughs> I'm not proud about that. You can't help me. He said, what do I mean? I said, okay. If you want to help me, let me tell you what I need. Apparently then, it's been like eight years ago, I needed like eight million naira for my business. It was a new business. It was a business that had floated to like 10 million, but I needed extra eight million to scale it to the next level. He said, eh? Eh? Is that the help you need? I said, I told you I don't need help. Forget about helping. As soon as you start thinking you need help, you won't work for yourself. So that's why you are not hardworking, because you think somebody somewhere, through your prayers, will come to you. I'm very sure I pray more than you. I can tell you that. that yeah, this is like my 100% work. And I still work as if I'm not praying. That is how you go about things. Stop looking for help. You are the help you need. At least you are breathing. You can see yourself. You are the only person that can trust yourself. If I promise myself I'm going to give something to myself, I cannot disappoint myself. But when somebody else promises me, 
he may disappoint. Even if you die at the end of the day, at least you will still meet yourself in death. You, you can't disappoint yourself. That's the only truth. So that's why you should trust yourself. Don't trust any other person. I feel like screaming this thing. But a lot of people think it's their uncle, it's somebody that took them abroad or want visa. Some people are trusting visa now. They are not doing anything. They are waiting for visa. Is that not stupidity? When you get to that place you're going, will it stop your online? Keep working. Keep believing only in yourself. And as soon as that can be done, then you have to open yourself to learning. Otherwise, you are just going to be a proud, harant, poor, broke rubbish. I'm telling you. Because when you say you are trusting yourself, you can't trust a fool. And you cannot be a fool if you are not well learned, if you are not exposed to information, if you don't have powerful information, you are a, trusting a fool. And underline it, you are a fool here. Do you see how these things work? So when you are niching down to make money online, you have to continue to learn with the speed of light. They say it's programming that makes money. Go and learn it, even if it's going to be a waste. Don't worry. I've learned like almost eight vocations in my lifetime, from tailoring to barbing to cooking to whatever. But it, it, you think it's a waste, but now it's not a waste. Because one day I'll just wake up, just like I did a few days ago, and I said, I want to start building my website by myself. Within the space of two weeks, I learned it and I started building. But now I've done like five websites and I'm sure you know all these uh, Giant Classroom, the Giant Referrers, Giant Alert. I built everything myself within the space of two weeks, even when I added it to the workload I was doing before. That's the spirit of excellence. That's the spirit that attracts money. That's the spirit that becomes successful in anything at all, online and offline. So understand you have to keep learning, keep learning, keep learning without dropping your pace. That is how to do it. You know why? Number seven is, if you are not well brimmed in your brain, you can't think correctly. And if you keep making the wrong choices, you are going to be broke. Even if you have money. If I give you 100 million now, and you think correctly, wrongly, over time, you will finish that money. And that's the problem. So you have to be able to make sure your thinking is slick. And the only way you can do that is if you give yourself into knowledge. Give yourself into knowledge. That is what does it. So that your thinking will be sharp. And look, my number eight is very funny. It's forgiveness. Most of the time, you hold on to yourself. You don't forgive yourself. You have not forgiven your father who didn't send you to school. You have not forgiven your in-law who was supposed to buy a car for Uber and didn't. You didn't forgive. Come. If you want to be successful and make money online, these are the things that most people will not teach you. You will never hear it anywhere. Forgive everybody. Look, you are their boss. That's why they didn't do you well. You are their boss. You see, when they treat you well, you won't have enough fire to drive to the next level. But when problem keeps brewing, look at everybody that got successful in the Bible. They had problems before success. Nobody just slept at home and became successful. You need problems from Joseph. Look at it from Moses, Joseph, Gideon. Mention anybody. Isaiah, Ezekiel. Mention anybody, even Jesus. Everybody must go to problem. It is that problem that brews it, that burns your bum bum, so that you can go and do something for the world. And the world is waiting for you. I'm telling you, forgive everybody, no matter what they've done. As I am concerned, I forgive people in advance. Even when I've not met you, I've forgiven you. Apart from the fact that it makes me a better Christian, it makes me sleep well at night because I don't sleep much. So is it these two, three hours I want to sleep? I will not be thinking of somebody who offended me last year or somebody who had done something in 1962 because... No, 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 no. Face it front and deal with it. Anybody who offends you, if they are not reaching out to you and you are still holding them on, call them first. Reach out to them. All these unnecessary exes, my former wife, former whatever... My friend, change all these things. Just let everything go. Free your mind. The only thing that you should be sucking into your mind is how to make money online. Learn digital marketing. You know, you learn everything. Learn e-commerce. Do you know that when I learned e-commerce, I didn't know what to do with it. Guess what now? I'm using it on my own classroom. That was when I learned how to do all these things. So can you imagine... Very funny, skills can never be wasted. They call it Amory, they call it Asana. Keep a lot of things in your Asana even if you think you don't need it. As you are going forward, one of these days it will keep, you know, sprouting forward and then you can keep using it to governize yourself. Know your identity. I'm telling you, know your identity, you make money online. It will be easy for you to need. I jumped on freelancing simply because I knew I can write. Since whatever, I know I can write. That made me thousands of dollars. I, I think I was making a video um, today and I checked how much I'd made Almost a hundred thousand dollars. Can you imagine that from writing? And then you, you are here, you have a skill, you can talk, you can sing, you can scream, you whatever. Come to Trisha Media and start screaming and give yourself three months, you see everybody will start screaming with you. <laughs> and then one minute. Tomorrow. <laughs> Before you say Jack Robinson, 
People are starting to scream on their own channel. This is the era for stupidity and it sells. Because all you need is to grab attention. Just get attention. That's it. As soon as you can scream attention or get attention anyhow, then you're done. So don't think it has to be finesse. I've seen people that are mumu everywhere. Can, can you imagine songs like Dorime? What does it mean? Nobody even knows what it means. And everybody sings Dorime, Dorime. It's even filtering into my hair. I don't listen to songs like that, but I, I understand it because it's social media. Do anything, get your attention, and off you go. You are going to make money online. And look, all this I'm saying is easy to say. Easier said than done. <laughs> Resilience is the real key. I'm not saying hard work because sometimes you are tired. So you want to hard work. You, have, uh, you didn't sleep at night. You are trying to work, but you are tired. That's when you need resilience. It is what generals in army, what they have. If you want to be a general here, you need to be resilient. When you are tired, you keep going. That's the spirit. When you are down, you keep crawling. Ah, When you are dying, you keep screaming. It is like that. But when you say, I can't do this again. It's too much for my... That's how it will be too much. No matter the country you go. If you like, go to Afghanistan. It's the same process. Because provided there is sun, and there is a night and day, Harvest time and seed time will not go. You have to labor when you are, you know, planting. And then you would also labor when you are harvesting. That, that's the way the world was made. So, at what point will you lose resilience? My friend, gather resilience. Become a soldier in your house. Your wife will just do something small to you now. You have emotional trauma. Can you imagine? You can't, you can't cope. You feel like dying. <laughs> they sack you from work. You say, Ee. Because they sack you from work. The person that sacked you from work, who gave him the work? He governized the work. Governize your own. It's as simple as that. What's the, what's the cry for? I'm not sure I can finish this today. I'll continue on Sunday. Next month, Sunday. Next week, Sunday. Not next month. You have fired me up today. I just want you to be better. I want you to do everything that it takes to make sure you make money online. It is what it is. I'm telling you. <sighs> and it will not be complete if I don't have the spirituality of money, which is prayers. You need to know that you have to pray. Like I always say, I don't even care if somebody says uh, it's Christianity, is this, is that, whatever religion is good. Provided I can pray, I'm cool. Because that's the only thing that gives you the eager and itato to continue. Jesus gives that to me. As soon as I pray, I feel relieved. No matter what the problem, when I just say, oh Lord, my God, thank you for today, I'm done. And sometimes you can go to him as well to ask him, what is my gift? What can I do? Show it to me in my dreams. A lot of things can happen that will not make sense to anybody, but provided it pushes you to where you're going to make your money, it's cool. And if it's not diabolic, fine. So pray about things, pray about directions, pray about your gift. Let the God of heaven show you what you want to do. Ensure that you get it so that you just not labor in vain. Everybody, they see you finish. Everybody is treating you badly simply because you think you don't have money. Money will change a lot of things, and that's the truth. So, anything, pray, affirmation. Every morning when you wake up, you pray. That will change a lot of things for you. Okay, I see you around.